first question first question a group of students in a school are planning to publicize the school concert they can either produce a web page which will be sent to the company that runs the school website or create multimedia so the options are having a web page or having a multimedia presentation give two type of content which could be used in the multimedia presentation that cannot be used in a printed out leaf first of all it can be audio and it can be video what else sound and yes audio sorry sound and hyper links number b describe the advantages and disadvantages of using a multimedia presentation rather than a web page on the school website now why would we sometimes prefer multimedia other than web page advantages and disadvantages of multimedia now what's the main advantage of multimedia main advantage of multimedia, multimedia is easier to control the content easier even to not edit to create but first of all easier to create and what else easy to edit the information what else better controlling what should be displayed now what should be displayed after a couple of seconds unlike in a website in a website everything is con is just displayed isn't it a website is just pages that you display on browser but normally on website everything will be displayed on the presentation if you remember from the animation and transition you can actually control what can be displayed now what can be displayed next by for example an animation or what should be displayed in the next slide for controlling is better in multimedia that's why whenever we are going while doing classes we do it normally using this kind of multimedia or we can actually jump between content we can't just open a website for you isn't it when the website will contain all information together are we good come on what else the disadvantages will be disadvantages now compare compared to the website the disadvantage is whenever i'm doing this on the school you can only watch it inside the school if you go home unlike on web pages on web pages you can actually check the information as many times as you want yes so in web pages you will find that you can actually watch it at any at any time multimedia only whenever you are within the school what other disadvantages multimedia projectors multimedia requires you to have some kind of expensive devices such as projectors unlike website you can watch it where or you can see it where on a small small smart device are we good come on but whenever you compare between them compare between where you can see it time you can see it what kind of devices you need to view this kind of information are we good next question student need to test their multimedia presentation before it can be used name two output devices they can use and for each one write down a reason for its usage testing a multimedia the first one is what you need a projector or a monitor isn't it it can be a monitor or it can be a projector why why you need it the reasons why to see how it looks and to see the format of the presentation whether it's good or or not other device speaker why if you have a sound to see whether the sound will play in the exact specified time or not are we good others do we have others do we have others what others you have speakers we have sounds and what else what else can we have screen or screen or monitor the same monitor or screen the same huh? monitor and the screen 
both of them are the same. What others do you need a printer? Do we need a printer? Yes, we need a printer. Why? Now, normally, whenever we check this kind of presentation, at the end of the day, what we do? We give them out as hand, as handouts. But you need to see whether the handouts looks like you want. Remember, from the printing of presentation, you can print two slides per page, four slides per page, eight slides per page, or four slides per, per page. What type of printer did they ask you? What type of printer? Why laser? Again, continuous and cheaper, cheaper pair, paper. That's why we prefer laser printer other than inject printer. Why? Cheaper pair, volume. Which one has more quality, inject or laser? Inject. However, it's more expensive. Question number two. People can watch a movie either by streaming or from a Blu-ray disc remember we cover the streaming give two advantages of watching the movie by streaming rather by a blu-ray disc what are the advantages first of all less expensive you don't have to buy a blu-ray disc and you don't have to buy a blu-ray disc player which is even more expensive so you don't have to to buy them and and you can open it or view it in any device, in any browser. You get it? You can actually view it on any device that has a browser. Another advantage. And no waste of time for downloading the whole thing before, before watching it. These are advantages. Now, what if the question, what if the question asks you for the disadvantages of streaming? First of all, you need a very good internet connection to have a very good buffer. Otherwise, it will be lagging. You get it? Otherwise, it will be lagging. And the second disadvantage, you don't have your own copy. You do not have your own copy. Whatever you are watching online, you are watching online and you are leaving it there whenever you close the browser. So expect you might get the other question, which is disadvantages of these kind of technologies. Question number three, a cricket club. She wants to save a list of players as a PDF. Describe the disadvantages of PDF. First of all, it's hard to, now why it's hard to edit? Now normally PDF displays whatever you are you are saving as an image, text or image, it will be displayed as images. Images hard to edit. So the fair disadvantage, since it displays as an image, it will be harder to edit. And the second disadvantage is sometimes you need a specific application to view the PDF. You need a specific application to view the PDF. We'll be out next time. You will need a special, uh, specific application. Question number four, e-publishing software is used to create an e-publication to display a school yearly magazine. Describe the characteristics of e-publication. What are the main characteristics of e-publication? Electronic publication, that means the book or the content will never be printed out, isn't it? E-publication means everything will be viewed where? Using a digital device, regardless of the digital device itself regardless of the digital device. Now, what characteristics? What characteristics? Yes? First of all, view. You can mention you know, it can be viewed over the computer, but the main characteristic is the features of the computer that are not there on paper. First of all, you can include multimedia. You can include video. You can include sound, you can include hyperlinks, you get it? You can include some sort of navigation. You can include text to speech, different languages. The user can interact with the publication. It's, it's very attractive for LKG, for example, and grade one and two students. You will find that their new book 
whenever they view them, they will ask them to answer the question on the screen. And then they will give them some kind of animation whenever they are getting the question. Correct. They point and you have some kind of interaction, feedback. So it will be more rich and more attractive. Very good. And it can be viewed, of course, digitally. But whenever you get these kind of questions, it's better to mention the features of having it on the device. Are we good? Number B, e-publication or e-publishing software is subject to software copyright legislations. Give two methods that could be used to prevent software copyright legislation being broken. This is chapter nine. So this one will be skipped from marking for you because this is uh, chapter nine and this is what we call copyright legislation. Did we cover it last year? Copyright. Now why we need to copyright? Why we need to have this kind of copyright rules? Whenever companies, whenever you are now installing a software, you will have to agree on terms and conditions, isn't it? On these terms and conditions, if you read them and no one reads them, they are mentioning what? You should not recopy. You should not use part of the code. You should not resell again. You should not give to your friends. All of these are prohibited. Why? Otherwise, no profit will come back to the company. So this we call them what? Copyright rules. So copyright rules are there, why? To protect the company from piracy. To protect the company from piracy. How the companies protect from piracy? The old method, the old method of companies protecting from piracy is whenever you are downloading some kind of a software, you will find that you will have to insert a CD key. For registration, what you need to do? You insert some kind of a code. We call it a CD key. If you have a CD key, the software will be installed successfully. If you don't have a CD key, what will happen? You will not be able to install it. So first method will be here, a CD or a serial number. What about the next method? You can activate online. Nowadays, some of the software, they give you a trial. You install the software. However, they will ask you to access the internet to do what? To activate the software. Whenever you are accessing the internet, they will verify your software and whether you bought it or it's pirated. Very good. So the second method can be what? Activation online. Previously, and not, not previously, till now, whenever you are playing a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox, now whenever you put inside, whenever you have a CD one, what will happen if you are playing the game and you remove the CD? The game will stop. The game will not run unless the CD is where, or the Blu-ray disc is where? Inserted. This is a way of preventing you from downloading the game and handing out the game to your friends. If you are 20 friends and you are buying how many copies? Only one copy. The company will bankrupt at the end of the day. So how they do it, we call it a dongle. Meaning another media should be inserted in the computer while the application is running. This media can be a Blu-ray disc. This media can be a flash drive. This media can be a CD, regardless. Very good. Now it's popular where? In this kind of games, whenever you, you need it. But now they are getting rid of it because you can now download fully digital games. You get it? But digital games are protected by what we call a DR. M, which is a software that will be inside the software to prevent the software from being copied. Because previously, previously in PlayStation 4, people tried, for example, to copy the, the Blu-ray into another Blu-ray. They found that it cannot be copied and it doesn't work. Why? There is sort of a software inside the game itself or inside the application that prevents it from being copied to another media. Are we good? So this question, we will, whenever we go back again and cover chapter, chapter nine, we will get into this copyright legislations and why companies need to protect their products. Are we good? Any question? It will not be marked on your test. This one is repeated. I hope you solved it. Next, question number six. A mining company has asked a knowledge engineer to add to device an expert system. 
why they need an expert system? To help them do what? Prospective in mining. Describe how the expert system would be created. And remember, whenever we create this kind of artificial intelligence systems that will simulate human intelligent responses, advices, and recommendations, you need to mention the part of the expert system. Whenever you get to ask these kind of questions, you need to start with the part. The first part of the expert system is a knowledge base. So before that, you need to mention knowledge will be collected from expert. So first point will be knowledge will be collected from expert to create what? The knowledge base. Now, the knowledge base has to be sorted in a way. Has to be sorted in in a way, linked together in a way. That means we need to design a rule base where the knowledge base will be linked in a logical way. So that means two points so far. You collected the information for the knowledge base. You have sorted some rules to search the knowledge base or how these kind of information are linked together and we call that what? A rule base. Now what you need? You need a user interface you will start designing a user interface that will be based on answering question by yes or no, no true or false so whenever the question the, the whenever the system asks the user questions the user can answer these questions by using logical answer this is what we call a user interface and now we need the brain the last part is the brain inference engine which is the brain of the inference of the expert system inference engine now will be designed so that so that it simulates. it simulates or it what we can call it control how the knowledge base will be accessed using the rule base the rule base are we good so the inference engines will be the decision making or the searcher for your system are we good so these are the points that you need to cover. How many points? Knowledge base, rule base, user interface, inference, engine, and last but not least, explanation system. Whenever you are actually recommending something, you have to output some kind of justification. Why are you recommending me this? So the system has to justify the response for you. They have to justify whatever they recommend for you. They have to justify whatever solution they provided for you. Are we good? A person contacts an online medical website that uses an expert system to allow user to self-diagnose illness. Write down the component within the expert system that matches the definition given. This component contain a database of fact, knowledge base. The answer is knowledge base. This component carry out the reasoning of the system. Inference engine, reasoning, inference engine. Next, this, compa this component allows the person to interact with the system. Interact with the system means user interface now describe how an expert system is used to diagnose an illness that means they need they need you to show them the steps what are the steps for the illness what will happen the user will open an application this is the first step user will open an application second step the application will ask the user questions Third step, the user will answer the question by yes, no, true, false, all logical answers. Next, if there are still more than one possibilities, what will happen? The system might ask even extra questions to narrow down the possibilities. The user will answer these extra questions and the diagnosis will be identified and the reasoning behind it or the justification will be shown for the user. Are we good? These are the steps that you have to mention. Next, a school park is controlled by a barrier 
when teacher enter the car park, the number plate is read and the barrier is raised automatically. Visitor can use the keypad as an input device to enter a code, which allows the barrier to be raised. Identify three other input devices shown other than a pink card. What about this camera? What about this? And any sensor is an input device. Remember, any sensor is an input device. So input devices will be camera, microphone, and what you have. Any pressure will be considered an input device. Next, automated number plate recognition is used to read and check the number plate of the vehicle. Discuss the benefits and drawback of using this kind of systems. Advantages and disadvantages. Benefits and drawbacks. What are the benefits and drawbacks? The first benefit is no need for a security there. And less cost, no need for a staff. Less cost, number one. The second thing, faster. Because it will do it in a nanosecond. It will check the plate, compare the database, whether it's there or not there. Raise the barrier, not there. Do not raise the barrier. So the speed is more. The accuracy is more and less cost. There is no need to staff to stay there 24, 24 hours. These are what? These are the advantages or the benefit. What about the drawbacks or the disadvantages? Drawbacks? Yeah. First of all, expensive setup. You need cameras, you need sensors. Expensive in terms of the initial. The initial setup is very, is very high. Next. Yeah. Yes, obstacles or the system sometimes might not work, for example. So the disadvantages will be, first of all, if the initial cost is high, the second one, if the plate is dirty, it cannot be detected by, by the OCR system later or by the system. Second, if there is an obstacle or you have poor lighting, it will not be detected by the system. And if the database is not updated, what will happen? A new user will come by the car and the gate will refuse to open. Why? Because the database is not updated with, with this new car. Are we good? So what do we have here? Advantages, benefits, and drawbacks, or what we call them, advantages and disadvantages. Question number nine. GPS, global positioning systems, are used for many different applications. Describe how a GPS is used by a smartphone to pinpoint its location. Whenever you raise your smartphone, you open the GPS applications and the application will show you your current location, how it happens. First step, you are getting the coordinate from how many satellites? Three to four. Three to four satellites. How many satellites we have around the Earth? 24 satellites. If you need high accuracy over you or above you or intersecting your, your positions, we need three to four. They will send you their coordinates. And what will happen? Your GPS receiver applications will calculate and find your exact location. Meaning, whenever you are answering this kind of question, remember, you are only receiving. You are only receiving. You are not transmitting anything to the satellite. You are only a receiver. Next, give three other examples of GPS, any tracking system. For example, car delivery, taxis, ships, airplanes, all of them, they use what? GPS to locate themselves or to be located. Are we good? To locate themselves or to be located. Next question, a very popular question. The following diagram shows town A, B, and two roads. Describe how a satellite navigation system in a motor vehicle would calculate the quickest route from A to B. Now look 
at the beginning, the quickest route is a straight line. Always a quick route is a straight line. Is it true? Well, a false. Using physics, true? No, false. 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 Look. This is the straight line. And this is another line. If I put a ball here and a ball here, which one will reach fast, A or B? B. So the quickest route is not always a straight line if we look at the inclination. But normally this is the quickest route. However, the satellite will use another method. The satellite will use what? The geographical information system, what we call it, the map, which will provide you some extra information other than your exact location. This information like what? The traffic in the on the street, the maximum speed on each road. For example, if the maximum speed of this road is 80 and the maximum speed going through town B is 120, which one is faster? Going through town B. So the traffic counts, the road itself counts, the maximum speed counts, yes, and the number of traffic lights counts. All of these will be taken advantage using this application. So whenever you are using this kind of an application, and it show you the path, it will actually tell you the estimated time of arrival. Have you noticed that? How they can collect this based on the traffic in the area, based on the maximum speed that can, can be used to reach that area. So your answer will be what will happen? You will first input the destination, which is town C, first answer. Look, first answer will be what? Fairest input, C. The satellite will be looking at two different possibilities. Going A to C without through town, so and the town B. Going A to C without through town B. So we can go this way, or going through town B. It will put into consideration the maximum speed allowed in this road, and the maximum speed allowed in in this road and the distance and the traffic in this road and the traffic in this road and based on this it will decide whether it's faster for you to go without moving through town b or moving with town b are we good do we get this question yes so remember that's the powerful of using a gif plus yes plus what a satellite, yes, a GI, S, which is geographical information system, or what we call it, a map. The map will show you extra information. Another question regarding GPS as well. A taxi company tracks the route of their cars. Travel, current location, to a new using GPS. A map showing the route taken and the current location of each and every card where? On the office monitor. Describe the details of how the system works. Now this is the opposite. I don't want to know my location. Whenever I'm a driver, I would like to know my location and to transmit my location to the office. So the office knows my location. So if we have a couple of cars somewhere in the cities, Someone in an office will see their, their location, and based on that, they can order them to go to different places. And this is how it's done previously by Uber drivers. Not now. Now they know it using the, the map. Previous, previously, whenever you call for an Uber, you call the company. The company then will see on the map whether there is a driver next to you, and then they will call the driver to go to you, and then they will call you telling you that the driver will arrive. And then they will call you whenever the driver arrives. You get it? It was very complicated. Because previously, all the cars and all the taxis, they have their GPS and they transmit it to the, to the office. You don't have a map, you don't have an application, we don't have a smartphone. But nowadays, we have a smartphone. So this one, whenever you answer this question, what we would say? Each and every car will transmit its location where? To the office. What will happen? An office will have 
an application on a big monitor that will show each and every car, current location, speed of the car, and the direction of the car, because they need to know the speed and the direction, so they can manage and control their, their drivers. Are we good? Any question related to this question? Next. Online store. This online store does not have physical shops. There is no physical shops. Customers buy products from this store using internet shopping. Describe the advantages to Tawara retail of offering internet shopping. Meaning, the advantages of having online store instead of yes instead of physical outlet or physical store first of all less cost why less cost less cost because less staff salaries will be less rent why less number of outlet will be rent less taxes we call it less taxes electricity taxes water taxes, garbage taxes, all of this will be, will be less. These are advantages and 24, 24, seven browsing for the users and you get even a wider range of audience. Why? Because you have delivery. You can have a wider range. You can actually order, get order from other cities and uh, deliver to, to other cities. Easier to search, and these are even more advantages. You get it? Now, what if the question, what if, get out, what if the question, you get it? This advantage of the company will be, first of all, no loyalty, because customers will be looking for the cheapest price or option. You get it? Or the competitions, you will have very high, high competition. This is the fairest disadvantage. The second disadvantage for the company and for the customers is the problem that we covered in chapter eight, if you remember last time, fishing, farming. Yes, remember? The fishing and, and farming or hacking, generally speaking. Yes, we mentioned that. These kind of online systems are all targeted by, by hackers. So if you, for a customer, you are accessing this from an untrusted computer or PC, what will happen? You might get fished or hacked, or if you have some kind of a keylogging application, your information can be even grabbed by spyware. Remember, we covered spyware, and we mentioned that if you are using any kind of a public computer, what will happen? They might stole your information. See, discuss advantages and disadvantages to customers of using internet banking rather than visiting the bank. Now the same, just like the retail, internet banking rather than visiting the bank. What the advantages of using internet banking? First of all is 24, faster. One, 24, seven. And is it more secure or less secure? Huh? Safer, what am I safer? It is safer. Instead of moving to the bank, you can just transfer the money from an account to another account without having to have any kind of a physical money on you. No. Safer. What about the security? The security is something else. So let's go over the advantages first of all. 24 seven, safer, no physical money involved. What else? What, no waiting? We save the cost of what? Cost of? Cost of travel. And cost of or less time. You will not waste time on queues or waiting on, on light or on a traffic jam. All of these are advantages. Now, what about the disadvantages? Security. Disadvantages? Security issues. One of them is fishing, farming, hacking. And very dangerously, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you will be 
transferring sometimes the amount of money to the wrong account. So the problem of transferring the money to a wrong account. Hmm? Uh, disadvantages, yes. Disadvantages we mentioned. Security issues, farming, fishing, hacking, generally speaking, transferring to the wrong account, and you cannot withdraw or deposit physical money. You cannot withdraw physical money, and you cannot deposit physical, physical money. Next question. Internet banking allows customer to transfer money from one account to another and pay bills. Describe two transactions that internet banking does not allow you to make. This is the same disadvantage he mentioned. Two things you cannot do. First of all, deposit. Slash, withdraw money. And what else? What about the check? And you cannot, you cannot write, write check, or you cannot claim check or clear a check. All of these cannot, cannot be done online, yes. Sorry? Each one, one mark, one mark, one mark. So whenever you, you say it cannot withdraw, it's one mark, you cannot deposit it, it's another, another mark. What? Loans can be done online. You can get loans online. When logging on, as well as typing in their username and password, Customers have to provide an answer to a security question. And remember, remember, whenever you have these kind of security questions to double check the identity of you. We call them sometimes nowadays, we call them two-factor authentication. Remember from chapter? Chapter five or eight? Chapter eight. Yes, chapter two-factor authentication. What will happen in two-factor authentication? What we do? Whenever you are inserting your username and password, correct. However, the system is suspicious. System is suspicious that you are inserting the correct information from a new device or a different IP or a different location suddenly. So the system would like to double check your identity. This is what we call it, two-factor authentication. One of them is asking you this question and the question should only be known by, by you only. This kind of question example, what will be? Favorite place? The rest are general? General knowledge. The rest are general knowledge. So only these two can be known by you. So whenever the system is suspicious, you will actually get these kind of questions. And this question, you actually answer them the first time you are creating your account. So whenever you are creating your account, they will ask you this kind of personal information so that later, whenever they would like to double check your identity, they can re-ask you and compare your answer. Question number. Question number 15. Now we have a head teacher setting up a card system for the student's payment in the canteen. Yes, setting up a card system for the students in the canteen. The head teacher is trying to decide whether to install a system that uses magnetic stripe or the system uses chip and pin. So we have two technologies, chip and pin and magnetic stripe. Compare the use of magnetic stripe card reader with the use of chip and pin card reader. Your answer must include similarities and differences. So that means, first of all, the magnetic stripe and the chip and pin reader. They are similar in, both of them are input device. Both of them are input devices. 
The second, both of them are fast input devices, fast entry, accurate input devices. Means both of them, they provide the least error, if no error. Why? Because you don't have to type or do any kind of a manually input. Everything is done through, automatically through this kind of card. Both of them wear out after a time. Chip and pin sometimes, from inserting the chip and pin, many times you will find that after a while it will be scratched and it will have to be replaced. The same for the magnetic stripe at the back of the card. In time, it will wear, it will wear out. These are the similarities. What about the differences? The differences, now let's look at their way of using. The first method is whenever you are using a chip and pin, it, be, it will be considered a more secured method. Why? If I look at the chip and pin, you will find that you will have to insert what? A pin code. That means it's more secure. What about the stripe? No pin code, less secure. Anyone can use it. However, security comes in a cost. What's the cost? Whenever you are inserting a pin and inserting this kind of a chip, it will take time. For which one? This one is slow. Using a magnetic stripe will be faster. Very good. This is how you compare them in terms of their usage. Chip and pin, we prefer it because it's more secure, because you are using a pin code. Yes, however, it's very slow. You will have to insert, you will have to wait for the pin code to appear. You have to insert the pin code. The pin code can, should be compared first, and then the process will be continuous. On the other hand, whenever you go to magnetic stripe, anyone can use the magnetic stripe. Why? There is no security involved. However, it's faster. That's why we use it in application where security is not important, such as opening doors, ATM doors, you get it? Arcade games, these kind of applications. Next is spreadsheet. Use as model. Give three reasons why computer modeling is used. And remember, what we mean by computer modeling? Simulating a real system using the computers. Why we do it? We can say, for example, these are general advantages and features. One of them is, it is what? Safer sometimes. Second one, it is cheaper. There is no raw material that will be wasted. If the system is not good, you delete the system or you make changes without any extra cost. The third one is, you can predict the future. You can predict different scenarios that are hard to happen in real, in real life. You get it? You can predict it, meaning you are saving what? You are saving time and money. You are saving cost or money for the system. Are we good? These are what? These are, any three of these will be will be accepted. Any three of these will be accepted. If Next. A supermarket has EFTPOS terminals. Explain what is meant by EFTPOS and how such a system works. Electronic fund transfer point of sales. Now, whenever they ask you to explain, if you type the whole name, it will be considered correct. Electronic fund transfer point of sale. That means you pay electronically, no physical money involved. And normally, these systems are linked with credit card because it's a safer method of payment is credit card. So you can mention paying using credit credit card. Explain in such a system where? In the supermarket. So what will happen? In the supermarket, whenever the, the customer brings the goods, the goods will be scanned by a barcode and the total price will be shown. The customer will insert its chip and pin card in the supermarket, chip and pin reader. It will insert what? The pin code. The pin code will be compared. If it's okay, what will happen? The amount of money will be inserted by the cashier. 
whenever they hit enter, the supermarket bank will contact the customer bank to check the account is valid. Enough money, the limit has not been exceeded. And whenever these checks are all correct, what will happen? A confirmation will be sent to the chip and pin reader and the money will be deducted from the customer account and deposited where? In the supermarket account and what you get? A receipt. And you take your goods and go. Are we good? So these are the steps. Inserting the card, inserting the pin, inserting the money, supermarket bank will be contacting the customer bank for confirmation. They have enough money. They have not exceeded the limit of the money. And then the money will be deducted from the customer bank and credited where? In the supermarket bank. All these kind of questions regarding EFTPOS are similar. The difference is here, supermarket or a normal shop, or any other applications. The starting always, and the process is always similar. Both two banks has to contact each other, and money has to be transferred from two different accounts. Are we good? Next question. This one we covered, if you remember, whenever we were looking at some question in chapter six. Describe the process. What process? We have a supermarket and running Slow. This one is a database of the supermarket, and this one is a database of the suppliers for that supermarket, the companies that provide the goods. Describe this process. What process you need to describe? If you are getting what, if you are buying two or more cornflakes from the supermarket. Now, what will happen in the process whenever you are buying a cornflakes? What will happen? First of all, what do you do? You bring the product in the cashier. It will be scanned by a barcode. Whenever they are scanned, how many will be scanned? Two products. That means the stock will be deducted by? By two. So number in stock now is what? 152. Whenever you deduct the number in stock by two, it will become 150. Automatically, the system will be comparing with the pre-order level. If it's equal or less, it will go immediately and check how many should be ordered. How many? 50. It will copy the supplier code and look the supplier code where? In the supplier table to find the match. Whenever you get the supplier table, you will get the details of the supplier cable and prepare it in a paper where it will be printed out and handed to the guy responsible for reordering new stock. Are we good? If we have the email here of the supplier, the process will be even, even easier. Why? Because whenever I would like to get 50, I will check the supplier who will bring me this new 50 cornflakes by checking in the other table. And whenever I check, I will send immediately to the supplier email. So it will save you time. And some of the big companies and warehouses, they do this. Whenever they are low in stock, the supplier will even will get some time messages on their, on their phone. These messages are done automatically, but this will be done for big shops because tracking of these papers will be, will be hard. So if we have the email of the supplier or an SMS that can be sent to the supplier. Are we good? Yes. So all these systems are similar in chapter six. These we call them the supermarket or the shop system. And that's why in the supermarket nowadays, they prefer buying these barcodes and buying these touch screens and dog matrix printers, even though they are expensive. However, these systems are easier whenever they are selling because you can add, remove, or change the prices in a second, and it will control the stock and manage the stock behind the scene. So the owner of the shop or the staff of the shop will just look at the system and see the analysis per day, per month, or even per year. Are we good? So now you will find even small shops are getting these kind of systems. Next question, ATM, chip and pin. Users are ATM, customer wishing to withdraw cash, will insert their card, the ATM check to see if the card is valid or no. 
and then they will ask the customer to type their pin describe the computer processing which take place from this point now what you need what we need withdraw withdraw cash and they provide you with the with the first step which is what inserting the card checking the card is valid inserting your pin code first of all what we do compare the pin code with the one stored where on the on the chip on the chip one is good the customer will select what service withdraw what will happen next amount has to be amount has to be inserted once the amount is inserted what will happen your car bank or the customer bank will be now contacted why you contact the customer bank to check whether you have sufficient yes you have sufficient amount and the card is not stolen and the the daily limit has not been exceeded if all these are true what will happen the money will be deducted and automatically sent what will happen you get your card you get your money you get a receipt very good should i repeat it or it's good simple yes all the steps are similar what's different here i would like to withdraw what if i would like to deposit check the pin select service the service will be deposit there they will not say amount of money i will have to deposit the money the money will be scanned and then they will show me the amount of money i've deposited in the atm when i click okay what will happen they will contact my bank this time not to get money from my bank but to add money to my account and the account now will be added the money will be added to my account and will get the receipt same one clearing checks do we have it here we have clearing checks yes clearing a or depositing a check what will be the steps inserting the card in the atm selecting the language and inserting the card and then what inserting the pin the pin will be compared to the stored pin and then services will be selected what service what service depositing a check this will be your new service it will be depositing a check once you select this service the drawer will be open you will insert the check once you insert the check the check will be scanned an image of the check will be will be yes will be created there and it will be sent where to the bank whenever the bank confirm that this check is authentic what will happen the amount of money will be deducted in your account and later you will get a receipt very good these are all the services you get in uh, in here